What's up guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we're going to look at some more of the Concept Series armors but these are the big ones. The heavy artillery one that's in the red, the Hulkbuster, Subterranean, and Arctic Crusader. These two guys come with the same backpack, these two guys both come with the same drilling thing. We'll get to that in a second. They do all have the exact same mold, otherwise he does have a helmet. So we'll just look at each one really quick. The heavy artillery one is red and black, really nice pearly red and a nice metallic black. Pretty cool figure. He comes with the backpack that has the launcher, that has the launcher up here and the trigger there. This thing swivels and these things move as well. Backpack comes off if you want, which I recommend. It's kind of ugly. Otherwise, the guy's a pretty good figure. I have one major gripe and I'll point to that when we get there. As far as the articulation goes, this articulation and everything applies to all of them. I'm going to use this guy because he's here. Any uh, specific details that are different, I will point those out on the other figures. So he's got the articulation in the head that's pretty minimal. It's mostly just a swivel, not too much up and down, just a little bit. This is one of the older batches of figures um, prior to Iron Man 2. The shoulder pads are hinged. He's got ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, it's pretty stiff but it is there, wrist rotation and wrist pivot, still can't really get the repulsor blast to work pose wise, kind of a bummer. Nice thicker arms though so it looks pretty cool, it matches the figure. He's got the diaphragm joint, great range of motion, forward and backwards, no side to side, just a rotation. The waist does not have any extra articulation, even though it looks like it might. He's got this softer plastic skirt thing going around and wide jointed hips. You can get pretty decent posing out of them. Not the best range of motion, but enough. Thigh swivel built in. Double jointed knee, similar to the Iron Man 2 design with the knee pad that goes over. Now the ankles are the problem, the thing I hate the most. They have a hinge and a swivel, but no rocker at all. So unless you put his feet right next to each other, which is pretty hard to do because they're so wide, you cannot make him stand with his feet apart at all without him looking goofy with these big flat feet sticking up in the air on the surface like that. So that's my biggest gripe about these. That's the red and black heavy artillery one. It looks pretty cool, I do like it. I like all of these actually. And this guy has the exact same backpack. This is the Hulkbuster version of it, which is kind of a sad excuse of a Hulkbuster, I think, because it's just the same mold as all the other ones, and the helmeted head is just way too big. It looks kind of weird. I mean, it's not horrible, but I think the face is too high, and it's too cone-shaped. That's just my opinion, though. Otherwise, it's pretty cool. It's been beat up a little bit, but the paintwork is solid, but the golds and the reds and the blues and then even a little bit of silver here and there. And this does come off to reveal the standard Iron Man head inside, which looks pretty good. So, I mean, it's cool. If you're def if you're collecting more of the iconic armors, don't be afraid to pick this one up. It's not really going to disappoint you. Just don't expect it to stand out as being awesome. So those two have the same backpacks. And now these guys came with the same accessories as well. The subterranean armor, which is more of a bronze and brown combination exact same figure everywhere except he came with this drill it does spin and it's got some decent paintwork on it but it's only it's only okay i guess it's not really my favorite that snaps on there the arctic crusader came with the same drill i don't have it same exact thing just painted different this guy is my favorite color scheme just out of preference and uh, it looks pretty good, it has nice composition, but they all really have the exact same design. It's just a matter of which colors are there. So those are the four big guys. Uh, they all use the same mold, like I said. And they're all, they're all okay figures. Um, if you get any of them, you'll be happy enough to have them. But they're not probably crucial, except for probably Hulkbuster. They stand about six and a half to the regular head, and Hulkbuster stands about six and three quarters so there you have it guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more figure reviews more custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting